Twenty mm-hmm. second was a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Went to the court on the fourteenth. Said the mail was returned unclaimed. Yes. From this trial setting date, yes, it should have been at least forty five days. Mm-hmm. This is seven. Oh, and this is another seven. That'd be fourteen. Yeah. And then uh, from the fifth, yeah, mm-hmm. it was a Monday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like twenty days later. Yes. You actually had the trial. Now, possibly, yes. Mm-hmm. If you had used uh, January f- uh, January third, yeah, mm-hmm. to uh, February third, oh, oh, uh, that would have been thirty days. Yes, but eleven would have been thirty-seven days. Ouch! Now, there should have been the enforcement of court rules at least forty-five days from the failure of the settlement conference setting hearing. Mm-hmm where the respondent had failed to give a settlement statement, Ouch. had failed to appear in court. Yes. It did, it did, it did. Well, it says 45 days, uh-huh, unless otherwise agreed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're just arbitrarily setting uh, dates for trials? Yes. Unless otherwise agreed, the trial will not be scheduled to occur sooner than 45 days. Yes. So the 37 days doesn't work? No. Mm-mm. The 20 days doesn't work. No. In fact, you violated your court rules because you scheduled the trial date sooner than 45 days. Now, if the provision LCR 94F had been followed, the case fails to settle at the settlement conference, parties will immediately appear. Mm-hmm. But uh, to select a trial date, yes. Now, trials for this type of cases identified LCR 94F1 may be set to commence on Monday or Tuesday. Yes. Now, it happened to be a, a Tuesday. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me how you could set the trial date for less than 45 days? How you could go back to the court and reset the trial date for 20 days? Yes. From January 22nd of 2013. Isn't there the obligation to enforce court rules? Now, I'm going to say that you had uh, a trial, yes, that was uh, scheduled, yes, that happens to violate the Clallam County court rules, yes, <coughs> and I'm going to want to sue you. <clears throat> now, if you would get me the state patrol, mm-hmm. it looks like the Washington state patrol is concealing felony, yes, known as kidnapping, mm-hmm. the fraudulent use of child support, yes, in fact, get me the employees of child support. Child Protective Services, and the employees of the Department of Social and Health Services that helped my wife fill out those forms. But the truth of the matter is she did not submit any actual meaningful documentation of the actual 10 years. 